Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Rancher 2. In the last episode, we got Mikey, and we've been raising him ever since. <laughs> and... Yeah, uh, other than that, there's not much to talk about. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and train Mikey until he's... Uh, one year old. So, until then... Blammo! And we're back, so... You... Yeah. <laughs> you may be wondering... Nothing. Because... <laughs> you may be wondering what's... What, what I did. Uh, just... Just skill, as you can see. Uh, Mikey got a few greats, but they didn't really do much. I guess it's because he's still a baby, so... And he's gonna be a baby for quite a while, actually, so... Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Anyways... It's the third week of May, not the fourth week, because I just remembered that we we have a special guest coming home, or coming here, to our house next week. So we are actually going to check that out. Actually. Actually. Here we go. <clears throat> Engine. It's about our, our, our... It's about our house. It's about our house. <laughs> A good monster dwells in a good house. Well, we don't let Mikey into the house, I'm sorry. I heard the house represents the feelings, the feeling of the trainer toward the monster. So if we have a bigger house, we have a bigger feeling! It'll cost about 20,000 gold grand, G 20 grand, holy crap, to rebuild the house. What do you think? Yes, may as well. Okay, Anjin, you are a great trainer. I am. Don't ever doubt it. <laughs> no, I am a horrible trainer, who I'm kidding. I'll go ahead and arrange everything. This is great. I got... I got to do a... I got to really do a good job. Ugh, can't even talk. You saved a lot for this, didn't you, Colt? Sort of. Well, see ya. Hey, see ya. That's it? Alright, let's go, Anjin. <laughs> she didn't even ask. Oh, what the heck? Are we spraying for pests, or is that the construction site? Be quiet, engine. What? Um, it looks like they have tanned ghosts working for them. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty cool animation, actually. I, it's like a picture, except it's moving. Uh, now, nah, hang on. Now, what I mean is. Uh, Mikey, get out of the picture, jeez. Like, whenever it's a little box like that, it's always a picture, but in this, it's an animation. What kind of monster is that? Hmm, so that's Bento's secret, huh? He's been- Holy jeez! Look at that house, guys! Look at that house- No, I've seen it before. Look at that! This is Mr. Bento's handmade house. It can beat any famous trainer's house. Trainer's house. You're right, Binto. It's great. Yeah, the difference is the skill, Colt. It's all about my skill. Skill. Skill and the pot, I guess. Because I just turned into an old man. Skill and the pot, I guess. The, the pot. <laughs> I just realized the pot. Huh? I don't smoke. What are you talking about? Uh, what do you mean, pot? I, I don't have any pot. I don't have any marijuana. Joy, bring the pot to me. Oh, no, no, don't bring it out. I, I have so much pot. Oh, oh, you mean you mean the jar? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. I thought you meant my pot. I saw you working. The monster in this pot was helping you out. So, so this is Bento's corporate secret. Oh no, you've seen it. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, but now I got to kill you. You know my corporate secret. Y you can't live anymore. My dad got this pot from somewhere, and this has been this has become our family treasure. Miss Colt, please keep this between you and us, and us, and me, and you, and us. I beg you, or I'll kill you. I know, Pinto. I was just curious. Thanks. 
Then, will you accept this knife in your chest? Ha! Okay. Enough of the murdering hom homicidal tendencies. Really, Benzo? Sure. Show this to Dadge at the lab. Don't say anything, just show it. He'll use this for combining. The pot is for combining. No, the jar is for combining, Colt. Not the pot. The pot is for something else. I see. Thank you. And don't forget our secret. I don't want anybody figuring out that I smoke, okay? Sure. Engine, we're lucky. Let's not forget to go to the lab next time. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go there right now before Mike's birthday. We got a few things to take care of. Uh, I don't have any monsters for combining, though. That kind of sucks. Well, I mean, I could combine monsters that I already have. Chair. But I don't want to because some of them are already... Some of them I want to raise. Some of them I might raise on my own. Or, you know, when a monster... When I'm trying to use the freezer method... Chair, shut the hell up! God! <laughs> when I want to use the freezer method and uh, raise a monster's stats, I will use those monsters to raise them. So, uh, we're going to get a few monsters. You know what, I think I'm just gonna skip. Skip! Okay, and we're back. So, I got some monsters for combining, and we're going to go ahead and start getting our monsters. So, these are the monsters I got. I got two Zooms, Joker 1 and Joker 2, and I got two Swayzos, Bajaral A, and because I got really creative and I just want it to be a little bit random. I called this one Swayzo Baka. So, uh, we're gonna start with the with Joker 1 and Joker 2 to make a Joker, of course. And, uh, where is it? So, pot. A magical spirit might appear if you rub this beat up pot. Or not. You know, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Actually, wait, what does it say about the mask? There's a dangerous atmosphere about this mask. There sure is. It'll stick to your face. And it smells like cabbage. Should we proceed? Yes, we should. Because Joker is a crazy cool monster. Did the audio just skip? Is the audio messing up again? I hope not. And... Boom! Mr. Reaper. So. Uh... Jokers have high skill and intelligence, but other than that, they're they're not very good. But it's so high! Look at that! I don't think any other monster starts off with like 200 intelligence and 190 skill. This looks dangerous. I know. The mask I used last time adheres to one's face and smells like cabbage. A cursed mask that smells like cabbage. I think I need to do more research on this. Where does the cabbage smell come from? You have to give it a name. What'll it be? Uh... You know... There was... I, I know somebody that wanted me to raise a Joker. But I'm going to hold off on that. And this thing is not going to be called jo uh, named after that person. Because honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember who it was. And... Uh, I think I'll just uh, combine this Joker into another Joker to make an even better Joker. Joker, 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 Joker. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna call it Death because I'm fairly sure that it's it's kind of like a a Death kind of monster. And we're going to combine. Uh, Bajarl A and Suezo Baka to get a Bajarl who's in the pot. I guess I never explained. Bajarl is actually the monster that we saw that Binto has, and this is uh, the combining item. This one's all up to you, and it's about. If I just said it was gonna be a Bajarl, I don't have to say, oh, look, it's a Bajarl. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Mm, derp. Audio still seems off a bit. Ay, oh, jeez. And look at that! It's, it's a little genie in a pot. Or, I mean, jar. Not pot. Pot is something else. Uh, but jarls have... I, I'm not even sure what their uh, stat gains are. Binto's Bajarl. Yes, I got a pot from Binto. I see. Well, take good care of it. <laughs> he just... He just never cares. Just, oh, well, take good care of it. Well, I guess he does care, otherwise he wouldn't say that. 
Uh, I don't know what to call you, so I'm just gonna call you headlights. And keep going with the uh, motor or with the vehicle things. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna raise you headlights. I'm just gonna name you that because I, I don't see why not. And we're gonna freeze you headlights because I do not want to keep you. I know Bajarls can be good if you raise them correctly, but otherwise, I just don't want to. And <laughs> I tried to freeze a monster that I don't even have. Why did I do that? Let's revive Mikey and head back to the the ranch. Hey, man. So I think I know what I'm going to do with some of my frozen monsters, but... I don't know what we're going to do with all of them yet, so... Well, what I'm going to do with all of them. Not what you guys are going to do. You guys you guys have no say whatsoever <laughs> in what I do. Although I'm raising a monster, my second monster, rather, that has been suggested to me. So, uh, yeah. You guys have a really big impact on this LP. Don't... Uh, I, I was just kidding. <laughs> okay. So Mikey is still considered a baby. Uh, he, when he, uh, when his first stage of life changes, it will be about 63 weeks, and man, that is a huge house. Holy jeez. <laughs> I, I forgot how huge it is. Man, I think it's just insane. And did, did I just get a message? Hang on. Yeah, and there we go. I did. I did get a message. And yeah, it, it's my sister. Oh, how how kind of her to text me instead of knocking on my door and interrupting my recording. <laughs> oh man. All right. And Jen, today is the birthday of Mikey, the first birthday. Shall I sing something? No, do not sing. Please do not sing. I don't want you to sing. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, M-I-K-E-Y. Grow and be a strong monster. I don't even know if that was on time or not because the audio is screwing up. And I've been trying to fix that. I really have, but I don't think it's going to happen. Phew, did you like that, Mikey? Yeah, I sure did. All right. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. Man, I like his fist pump too. It's like, yeah, shake my fist in the air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, I don't think a robot would sound like some sort of. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know, like some sort of Mexican gangster. Yeah. Wave my fist in the air. Yeah. And that's not even Mexican. What am I doing? Here we go. Should uh, keep. I guess we're just gonna. I'll just show training Mikey for a little bit longer and then end the video because although we didn't get much done again Mikey 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 oh uh, we did this episode has been going on for a while and anti birds having a sale so I'm gonna go buy some items and it, you know I think that'll be it after that okay so by I'm pretty sure I got one mint leaf left, so we're gonna buy four. And then we're gonna buy three nuts oil. Actually, four nuts oil. I think that's four. <laughs> one more mint leaf. There we go. Okay, so uh, we'll take a look at the items here. One mint leaf. Uh, four nuts oil. Five mint leaves. Oh man, I screwed up. <laughs> I guess I had two mint leaves. Uh, buy one more nuts oil then. Okay, so uh, later when I'm training Mikey, like when it, in his later stages of life, it will be very interesting because uh, hangers, arrowheads, and durahands all have a special effect when nuts oil is used on them. And only hangers, arrowheads, and durahands. It's called 
it was named the Had Effect, actually, H-A-D, and, well, hangers it. And yeah, yeah, okay, you see, you see where the acronym is coming from? Yes, and, uh, what it does is when you use a nuts oil on hangers, their heads, or their hands, they, one-fifth of their stress is actually, uh, relieved of them, so, it's a strange effect to be sure, but, uh, it, it's, I, I don't know, like, one-fifth isn't a lot of stress, but it does make a big difference when you're raising a monster to be, well, for true, so, uh, I'm thinking, since Mikey likes tablets, and he likes, and he has the hat effect going for him, I'm thinking I might use a method, a raising method, that'll have him not rest at all. It's gonna be very expensive, but I mean, look at how much money we have. We have enough to raise Mikey to be a very strong monster, and if we raise him to be a very strong monster, he's gonna pay it off. So, yes. I guess we'll end the video off now. I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to tell me with the ability, comment. You want to show me with the ability, tell me like someone to subscribe. Or you can PM me if you have any questions, or if you have any comments that you do not want to put in the comments below. Comment question of the episode. Okay, uh, this this is a very philosophical question because I I was asked this question in my philosophy class. Okay. Well, when I was in the universe. So, <clears throat> you are a tourist going into a war-torn country for, for, for the view, I guess. Just to look at the cool, you know, shooting and violence. And <laughs> so, you go, you visit a village that is actually occupied by the rebels, we'll say. And the rebels capture you. And the village, I guess you could say. <laughs> okay, so. The situation is this. The rebel leader gives you a gun. And says he will set the rest of the village free. If you shoot one of them. And if you don't shoot one of them. Then he's just going to kill all of the villagers and you. Now, the question is, do you, do you shoot somebody and save the rest, or do you not shoot anybody and have everybody die later on? Now, it's a really tough and very personal question, because, well, you have to think about it, like, that's, that's blood on your hands if you shoot and kill somebody. <clears throat> And, or, you know, it, would it be alright for you to kill somebody to save the lives of others and yourself? Or would it, is, is it better if somebody else does it for you? It's, it's a very tough and very personal question. For me, although I'm, like, very much against violence, I've, I, yeah. I, I, I really don't like hurting others and harming other things. So, for me, it would be very tough for me to do this, but I would actually shoot somebody. But, the thing of it is, you know, you have to, you have to realize that it's for the better good of everybody that one person dies. And of course, I'm thinking in that kind of situation, there's probably some elderly people, you know, some people that lived their lives, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to be cruel, it's just, I'm sure one of the older folks would probably say, please shoot me, let the younger ones live, and if, if that was the case, it, it would still be hard for me, but I would, I would have to do it, uh, with for respect to the old man and well old old person doesn't have to be man with respect to the elderly and for the villagers themselves and myself of course I mean <laughs> if I don't do this I'm gonna die jeez so 
Okay, with uh, with that very very personal and uh, introspective, or is that is that the right word? I don't know. With that very personal question out of the way, again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will see you all then.